Hello, dear students. Today we will be doing some more commands on MySQL as in the last video which I have shared. Uh, you have seen that how to create a database, how to create a table. We learned about DDL and DML commands. So today we will continue from that point only. If you have not watched the last video, then do watch the previous video about the session one about DDL and DML commands and how to create the database and the tables. So I will start from here. I have just, as you can see on the screen that uh, it is the MySQL command client platform and it is asking for the password. I have not entered any password, so I will only press enter. And here you can see that my SQL prompt is there. Suppose that you have forgotten that which database you have made, then you can write here, use, sorry, it is show data basis. And you can see here the list of databases which are already been created on this platform. Now the database which we will be using will be session. So I will write here use session. And the database is opened. Now I want to see how many tables are already been created in session. Show tables. So we can see here that there are three tables being made, client, product and student. So I have created two more tables, client and product for the queries to be done today as we will be dealing with the queries today. So here, if I want to see that what all are, what, what is the database structure or what is the table structure of client, I will write here DESC that is described client. So you can see here, I have taken four fields, client ID, client name, city and product ID. And you can see the data type also. I have taken integer for client ID and varchare for rest three columns. If we want to see the structure of product, then we can see the structure of the product. So I have taken there also four columns, that is product ID, product name, manufacturer, and price. You can see the data type as well. Now here I want to see the records also. So select, that means display, star, that means all records from client. So you can see here that I have created these records. And I want to see the records of product also. So select star from product. So these are the two tables which I have made already so that we can continue with our today's session. Today's session will be queries. Now, Queries. SQL queries are made up of commands that allow you to manipulate the data within a database. These commands follow a specific syntax, that is a set of rules, so that they are interpreted correctly by the database management system, DBMS. So what is a query? That Suppose that we have to retrieve a part of data from the table. So we will see that how we are going to do that. To implement, to execute a query, we need a WHERE clause. So a WHERE clause is used to filter records. It is used to extract only those records that fulfill a specified condition. So you can see here the syntax of WHERE. SELECT means display. In front of SELECT, we write the names of the columns which we want to display. If we want to display all the columns, then we will put a star over here. After that, from and in front of from, we have written a table name. Then there is a where and in front of where you can see that we will put the condition. And finally, we will terminate the query with a semicolon and it will be executed. So we will see some queries today. So there is a query, write a query 
to display the details of those clients whose city is Delhi. So it is a query to display. So first of all, to execute a query, you must see that what is to be displayed. So here it is written, display the details. Details means every column. That means in front of select, we will write star. From, you can see here that they are using, they want the details of the clients. So we will use the client table. And here there is a condition that city is Delhi. So let us see that how to perform this query. So here we will write select star that is all from client where now here we will put the condition city equals to and we will put Delhi in single or double quotes put a semicolon to terminate and press enter to execute the query. So you can see here that this was the client table. In this client table, so you can see that three records have been extracted from the table whose city is Delhi. This is how we execute the query. We will see some more queries. Write a query to display the details of products whose price is greater than 100. So display the details. Again, details means all the columns. Again, it will be a star of products whose price is greater than 100. So now here, the product table is being referred to and price column. There is a condition on the price column. It should be greater than 100. So let us execute it. Select star from product where price greater than 100. So you can see here that there is only one product that is shampoo which is of price 120. So this is how it will be executed. Suppose that I want to display only the product name. So if only the product name is to be displayed, then we will write only product name in front of select product, select product name from product where price greater than 100. And you can see here that only the product name is being displayed. So it is not a case sensitive language. So either you are writing it in small case or uppercase, it will be executed. Let us see the next query. Write a query to display the details of the products whose price is in range of 50 to 100. Again, the product table is being referred to. Now the price should be between 50 and 100 and both the values should be included. So let us see. Select. It is display the details. So we will again put a star. From product. Where price greater than equal to 50 and 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 or both operators are used in solving the queries according to the condition given price less than equal to 100 so after and you have to specify the field name again as you can see i have specified price again so you have to do the same and you can see here that there are two products bathing soap and face wash which are lying in between this range. 
between operator a between operator selects the values within a given range the values can be numbers text or dates the between operator is inclusive that is the beginning and the ending values are included so we can use between operator similarly we can use not between if we want to display the products outside the range we use not between so the same query that is write a query to display the details of products whose price is in range of 50 to 100 both values included which we have just implemented we will execute the same query by using the between operator select star from product where price between 50 and 100. So between and and are used with each other. So you can see here price between 50 and 100. And as you can see that uh, both the values will be inclusive. So we can see that the same result is being executed. So this is how you will use between or you can use not between according to the situation. So in between not and between there will be a space. Between with in operator, the in command allows you to specify multiple values in a where clause. The in operator is a shorthand for multiple or conditions. So we will see the query. Write a query to display the details of the clients whose city is either Delhi or Bangalore. So I will execute the same query in two ways. First of all, I will use the OR operator. So details of the clients. Okay. Select star from client where city equals to Delhi or city equals to Bangalore. So we can see here, okay, there must be some Okay, we can see here that in Bangalore, there is a BA. That is why it has not matched that query. I will solve it again. Select from client where city equals to Delhi or city equals to Bangalore, I will see that. Okay. So here we can see that the records have been executed over here. Now I will use in operator for the same query. As you have just read that in is a shorthand for or. Select star from client where city in and here you can add the multiple values as many as you want according to the query and you can see here that the same result is implemented over here Distinct clause. The select distinct statement is used to return only different values. Inside a table, a column often contains many duplicate values. And sometimes you only want a list of different values. So, for example, if I want to write a query to display the different cities in which the client is located. So, I will show you the difference 
Suppose here I will write select city from client. So you can see here that the city column is being displayed, but here Delhi is displayed three times because it was there three times in the original table. I do not want the duplicate values. So I will write here select distinct city from client. So duplicacy has been removed and only Delhi is now being displayed only once. So each value will be displayed only once. Only the different values will be dis displayed using the distinct clause. Order by clause. Order by keyword is used to sort the result set in ascending or descending order. The order by keyword sorts the records in ascending order by default. To sort the records in descending order, use the DESC keyword. You have already done DESC, but there the meaning of DESC was described. Here, the meaning of DESC will be descending. There, DESC was the first word of the command. Here, DESC will be the last word of the command. Just see here, select column 1, column 2. That means whichever columns we want to display from table name. Order by according to which column we want to be, we want to display the columns in descending order or ascending order. If you want it in ascending order, no need to write ASC or DESC. It will be done by default. Still, if you want to write something for ascending order, you can write ASC. And if you want to sort the records in descending order, you have to use the keyword DESC at the end. So we will see the query. Write a query to display the details of the products according to price in descending order. Details of the products. Okay. So select. from product order by. Now, I want the details to be displayed in the descending order of price. So I have to specify the field name, which has to be there in condition according to which everything will be displayed. DESC for descending order. So you can see here that all the records are being displayed here according to the descending order of the price. So this is all about all these keywords today. I hope that the session is clear to all of you. Thank you.